Ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, we'll take you behind the scenes of a police headquarters in a great American city, where under the cold, glaring lights will pass before us the innocent, the vagrant, the thief, the murderer. This is The Lineup. <laughs> One of the best fighting generals of your United States Army said in an interview recently, there is a common belief that all that is necessary to prepare a man for fighting in the Army is certain basic training. That is not true anymore. A modern Army has become a very complex organization with extremely complicated equipment and very specialized training is necessary to prepare men to use it. To absorb this specialized training, the Army needs men with high mentality as well as excellent physical condition. Let's give that a moment's thought. What are you doing about that kind of need in the Army? You young men between 18 and 34, can you qualify? It's a growing Army these days, and the men who can qualify, the men who go on to that special technical training after basic training, are learning valuable skills. They're the men this nation will always depend on in war or peace. Find out whether you can qualify. Go to your nearest U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station tomorrow and volunteer. Well, go down in the front, Mr. Polo. Yeah, sure. Now, excuse me. Yeah, here's a couple. Right here? Yeah. You got one of the men, huh? I think so. Your attention, please. You people out there on the other side of the wire in the audience room, may I have your attention, please? Thank you. My name is Greb, Sergeant Matt Greb. I'll explain the lineup to you. Each of the suspects you will see will be numbered. I'll call off a number, their name, and charge. If you have any questions or identifications, please remember the number assigned to the prisoner as I call his name. <laughs> At the end of each line, when I ask for questions or identifications, call out the number. If you're sure or not too sure of the suspect, have him held. The officers who took your name will assist you. They're seated among you. Please be prompt with your questions or identifications. When the prisoners leave here, they are sent to the washroom and dressed back into their jail clothes. It makes it quite difficult to bring them back after they leave here. The questions I ask these suspects are merely to get a natural tone of voice. So do not pay too much attention to their answers as they often lie. Bring on the line. All right, over to this side of the stage, boys. Come on, keep it moving. Okay, now turn and face front. Look right out there to the audience, hands to your sides. Now, I don't want to tell you more than once, boys. Talk up so everybody can hear you. It's a long way to the back of... Hey, you. You with a cigarette. Me? Where'd you get the cigarette? Well, I, got, I got it, so what? Quine. I don't know. Where'd you get it, King? What, what, what do you want from me? Lousy cigarette, I'll, I'll throw it away. Okay, throw it away. Just a lousy cigarette. I don't know where he got it, Matt. Well, it doesn't matter. Ain't they supposed to smoke, Lieutenant? No, All right, number one, Raymond Conkin. The We're the not piece. supposed to have anything Take on them. your hands out of your pockets, Ray. Okay. Where do you live, Ray? 766 South Block. Where's that? What is it, a house, a hotel, or what? A house. I'll talk up, Ray. Okay. A house! The arresting officer say you were fighting. That's right, I was fighting. Well, who were you fighting with? A guy. A guy in an alley. You know, he was doing a little fighting, too, you know. Who was he? He's standing right behind me. Him, I, I don't know his name. I never saw him before. Uh, number seven, James Link. Well, he started the whole thing. You're crazy. That's not the truth, Sergeant. I'll get to you, James. Okay, but the jerk's not telling you. Are you calling a jerk? All right, now, all right. Cut it out now. Uh. Move up against the wall, and you. You keep your face, face shut, James. Okay. All right, now, what's your business, Ray? I'm a plumber, but I'm not working. How'd the fight start? Well, I was in a bar with a dame. A uh, girl. Uh, this guy, this guy, um... Uh, him, he's got a foul mouth. What? I don't mind, but the dame, uh, the, the girl don't like it. I can't blame her. I got a foul mouth. Yeah, 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 you. Uh, come on, come on, break it up. Hey, don't. Uh, get, get 
Okay. Over against the wall. Go on, go on. Okay, okay. Now you stay put. And you, James, you open your mouth again. I'm sorry. You see what I mean? This guy starts things like that. Get him off, Klein. Get him off. Come on, move. Sure. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. These things don't happen very often. Boy, they really want that. Yeah, okay, we get all right. kinds. Number two, Clyde Helms, robbery. Where are you from, Clyde? Alabama. Where in Alabama? Morgan. How long you been in town, Clyde? About a week. Where you been staying? A hotel over on uh, Lincoln. Lincoln Boulevard. I know where that yeah. is. It's 214. Yeah. 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 Did you have a car in the robbery? Yeah, but it wasn't mine. What kind? Chrysler. Sedan? A coupe or what? Four-door sedan. Wanted a smaller one, but it was the only one with the keys in. Any weapons? Yeah, 32 automatic. <laughs> Anybody arrested with you? No. Okay, number three, Dennis Haddock. Suspicion of murder. You still here, Greb? Yes, I'm still here. Just answer the questions, Haddock. Lieutenant. That the man? I, I think so. Where do you so. live? Same place. Where is it? Carlton Towers, 85th and Carlton. What's your business? <laughs> you kidding, Greb? What's your business, Haddock? I play the stock market. That's him. I'm sure Any that's him. He was the one up? with the gun. Not mm -hmm. a one. Sergeant Graham. Yes, Lieutenant. Number three, hold for interrogation. Here he is, Ben. Oh. Sit down, Haddock. Okay. We want a statement, Haddock. Swell. Who's going to give it to you? You're going to give it to us. I'll give you nothing. We got an identification, Haddock. A man saw you do the job. What job? I don't know what you're talking about. Our witness identified you in the line. Nuts. We've already got his statement. He identified you as the killer. Nuts. He'll go on the stand and he'll point you out. First degree. You know what the sentence is? I hate to disappoint you. The boy. witness was in the park. He saw you tailing Krug. I told you I wasn't tailing nobody. You were picked up on the other side of the park. So I was picked up on the other side of the park. I was walking. So what? You kidding? Why, you killed Krug not ten feet from the witness. I didn't kill nobody. Now look, The Krug, witness saw could... it. Saw your knife, Krug. Eyewitness. I didn't kill nobody. You put a knife in Leon Krug. Uh, I don't get it. You really think you're going to beat this? Look, if I didn't kill anybody, why shouldn't I beat this? Who paid you to kill Krug? Oh, uh, how many times do I got to tell you? Who wanted him knocked off, huh? I'm getting a little tired of this, boys. We know who you work for, Haddock. We know Krug was marked. Oh, now, really? We know the whole setup. Wedge's been around for a long time. So you know it. What do you want me to do? Congratulate you? You work for Jack Stefan. I work for nobody. You guys are really getting pretty dull. Stefano's got orders out. Every guy who might give him trouble is supposed to be taken care of. You've been reading too many books. Krug was the first. If you think we're going to let a gang war bust I his... don't think anything. Except maybe you guys are a little rum dumb. We want Stefano, Haddock. Go get him. And you're going to help us put him away. Oh, now that's a real bright one, Guthrie. I'm going to put Stefano away. Yeah, you're going to put him away. Yeah. Your knife, Krug. Oh, now you listen, Greg. paid for the job and Stefano paid Look, you. look, fellas, please, will you... Forget it, huh? You're not going to get anywhere with me. Now, uh, listen, Don't Haddock. you get rough with me, Take Greb. Take it easy, Matt. Wine. Yeah, Ben. Take him down. Let's go, Haddock. Sure. We got you, and we're going to get Stefano. Okay, okay. With or without you, we're going to get him. Swell. You ready, copper? Who are you talking to, punk? To you, copper. To you. Get him out, Quine. Sure. Oh, brother. Talk about gall. Yeah, he really thinks that organization. Hey. It's okay, he tripped. <laughs> Look, Quine. I mean it, he tripped. Didn't you? Yeah. Get him downstairs. Come on. Okay, okay. Oh, you hurt your ankle, huh? Makes a difference. I ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. He tripped. Sure. Matt, well, this whole thing is liable to get pretty serious. Yeah, I know it. Stefano's out to take over the syndicate. He's got a big organization now. Yeah, more than one guy like Haddock. And Haddock's no dummy. That's why he's going to be hard to crack. He's sure Stefano can spring him. Can he, Ben? Not as long as we got a witness. So let's put a couple of men on that witness just to play it safe, huh? Yeah. You coming to dinner tonight? Sure. Molly said about seven. Oh, uh, don't let me forget. I got to stop and pick up a quart of ice cream. Who 
Who's with Polo? I put McCarthy and Waldron with him. Quine and Ash will take over in the morning. Going down with me tomorrow? Down where? The Red Cross, I told you. Give him some blood. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll have to be in the afternoon around 2. Fine. Oh, here, here's the market. Yeah. Give me a pack of cigarettes, will you? Right. I'll see what's going on. Okay, I'll just be a minute. All right, take your time. 87, a 415 at the corner of Elm and Vista. 73 and 77, code Hi, 6. Hi, mister. Well, hello, son. Are you a policeman? That's right. Where's your uniform? Well, I don't wear one. I'm a detective. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> you sure are. That's yeah, a pretty dandy outfit. I'm a hoppy ranger. Yeah? What's your name? Jamie Martin Fisher. I got a gun. I could shoot you. <laughs> now, you wouldn't want to shoot me. Sure I would. Oh! Ah, oh, you got me. You need some help, Lieutenant? Oh, better put out a APB for a dangerous cowboy. I'm dying, Sergeant. I'll shoot you, too. If I give you a nickel, will you let me go, huh? Sure. Give me. There you are. Okay, I won't shoot you. <laughs> you see, you got to know how to handle these situations. Come on, Lieutenant. I'd better get you to a hospital. So long, Jamie. Thanks for the nickel. So long, cowboy. He's a hoppy ranger. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Attention, all units. Hey. All units in area Here's Q. Here's something. We're in that area. 993 West Orange. Ambulance on the way. All units in what? area Q. That's just a couple of blocks. You gonna take it? 993 West Orange. West Orange. On yeah. The way. That's where Mr. Polo lives, our witness. Please let us through. Up there, the second floor up there, somebody's hurt. Now, who are you? The landlord. It's my building. There's been a shooting. Come on, man. The second floor. Second. <coughs> Waldron. A shotgun went up. I opened the door. Shotgun. I think McCarthy got it bad. <coughs> second floor. Go on. Stay with him, man. Crawl down. I tried to get to a phone. McCarthy. Oh. Uh, Mac. Oh. Ben. Paul. Over there. Okay. Dead. Yeah, now take it easy, take it easy. Now. Ambulance is on the way. Just walk in. Some guy with a shotgun. My face. Take it easy. Did you know him? Uh, lights were out. No. Ben? Yeah? Well, you... While we're talking about your United States Army's need for the best young people, let's take a minute to look at the vital job women are doing in today's growing Army, too. The Women's Army Corps a great corps with the tradition its women are proud of, is today serving alongside the men of the Army. Women of that corps, working on equal terms with men, are doing interesting jobs. Jobs of vital importance in the support of your Army's combat soldiers. Jobs in challenging fields. They're working in technical fields, secretarial posts in supply, and in hundreds of the most interesting locations in the world. How about you, young women, between 18 and 34? Can you qualify for the Women's Army Corps? If you can, there's a great opportunity for you in today's growing U.S. Army, an Army with a challenging job to do. Stop in at your nearest U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station and find out about your place in the Women's Army Corps. Go 
I've got a headache, Mac. Bring up my office. I'll be over as soon as I see the chief. Right. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Ben. We were the first ones over there, Charlie. A couple of blocks away when we got the call. Waldron may pull through. What have you got? Nothing more than you have. Waldron didn't see the guy, neither did McCarthy. Came home with Polo. Polo opened the door, and when they stepped in, blam, both barrels. Killed Polo instantly. McCarthy got it in the face, Waldron in the chest. Waldron crawled to the first floor. Keller got out the window. Well, with Polo dead, we'll never be able to hold Haddock. Or get anything on Stefano. Stefano will spring Haddock as soon as the news breaks about our witness. He'll probably make him stay in a couple of days just to make it look good. Yeah. I'm going to release Haddock. Right away? Yeah. What would you do if you were Haddock? You didn't know the witness against you'd been killed. What would you do if you were suddenly released? I'd think one Lieutenant Guthrie was a little crazy. Where would you go? Not to Stefano. Figure maybe you wanted to tail me. What if you were Haddock and I told you Stefano was going to kill you because you were the only man who could send him to prison? Oh, now, wait a minute, The witness ben. is dead. A good cop is dead. Haddock isn't going to crack you. He'll never that. fall for it, Ben. Wouldn't you? If when you got out on the street, somebody picked you up and took you for a ride? What are you talking about? Nobody's going to get hurt. Are you crazy? Well, he might talk. And you're a police officer. Then you tell me how to get Stefano. Well, that isn't the way. One way or another, you're going to have to release Haddock. You know he killed Krug, but you have to release him, and there's nothing you can do about it. You think I like it that way? No. When Haddock finds out that the only witness against him is lying down in the morgue, he'll never talk. Then we'll get Stefano another way. Have you got the man who killed Polo and McCarthy? No. Have you got one little lead? No, but you're a police officer, Ben. Charlie, we got to work fast. Stefano's got an organization of killers. But a stunt like this. Well, it might work. We've got to stop Stefano. Okay. Go on. Get out of here. I'll need three-way communication, two command cars. Can you get me a waiver from the inspector for two command cars? All right. Take it easy on the equipment. Thanks, Charlie. Told you, Mark. Don't, don't you guys ever get tired. Take him downstairs and turn him loose, Matt. What? Turn him loose? That's right, Matt. Turn him loose. <sighs> right. Well, let's go, Haddock. I've been sprung? I'm springing you. You? What is this? You heard the lieutenant. Now, let's now, go. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't get it. You don't have to. You can take a walk. I'm not holding you. Oh, come on. Somebody got a writ or something? No writ, no something. I want you out on the street, Haddock. Okay, but I don't get it. You will. Let's go. Now, wait a minute. What is it, Guthrie? How come? The word's out, Haddock. Stefano's afraid you'll talk. You're crazy. Look, you tell us about Stefano. We'll see you get protection. <laughs> oh, that's it. Well, you don't squeeze me, Guthrie. You don't squeeze me a bit. Pretty weak try. Take him down and check him out, man. Sure, take me down and check me out. You don't fool me a bit, Guthrie. Come on, punk. Pretty bad, Guthrie. Move it. Ah, you don't think I... Move! Right. Yellow town. Asher, get quiet and meet me in the garage right away. Now, here it is. In five minutes, Haddock will walk out on the street. Uh, he's never seen you before, has he, Asher? No. Okay, I want you to follow him. Let him know you're following him. Okay. Quine? Yeah? You're in a command car. A prowl car, each spot. Take the command car and follow about half a block away. Right. Matt and I'll be in the other car. We'll stay away out of sight. And you keep us notified on Haddock's movements. Well, if you're being so careful, why let him spot me? I hope he thinks you're one of Stefano's men. I want to scare him right out of his socks. You just want me to keep tailing him, huh? That's right. Until you've got him good and worried. Then pick him up, throw a gun on him. You're supposed to be one of Stefano's boys, you understand? Oh. Walk him to a quiet spot, scare him all the way. Make it look like you're going to kill him. The three of us will bust in at the right time. Okay, Ben. Now look, Haddock's pretty smart. He's not going to fall for anything unless it looks awful good. Okay, we'll make it look good. We'll get rough. All right, we'll put on a good fight, so take care of yourself. 
Think it'll work? I don't know. You got three minutes. Get going. I'm at the signal at the corner of 81st and Lincoln. Haddock's going north. I think he spotted Asher. Uh, turn here, man. We'll stay in the next block running parallel. Left? Yeah. Yeah. Turned up 84th, walking pretty fast. He spotted Asher all right. Turn up 83rd. Right. He's stopping and looking at a window pen. 300 block. Uh, Asher stopped too. Had a can't miss it. He knows he's got a tail. Well, he's leaving the window. He's going to grab a cab. Follow him. If Asher doesn't get a cab, we'll pick him up and follow you. Right. Want me to swing over on 84th? No, hold it. Stop here. He got his cab. Heading north on 84th. It's okay. Asher got another cab. Cab stopping. Haddock's getting out. Asher's out, too. Haddock's going into the Carlton Towers, 85th and Carlton. Asher followed him in. Park someplace. We'll pick you up. Right. Let's go over, man. Carlton Towers. That's where Haddock lives. Uh, it's 11.30... Uh, maybe Haddock isn't going to come out. Maybe he's just going to lock himself in and have his There he is. There's Asher. Oh, look at that pickup. Look at Haddock. Yeah, he nearly fainted. All right, let's go. We'll stay on this side of the street. Keep back far enough. Haddock isn't going to spot us, Ben. He isn't looking around for anything. He thinks he's taking his last walk. Yeah, up Carlton, right for the river. Funny if a patrolman spotted it, asked them what they were doing. Hilarious. The crowd's thinning out. Take the other side of the street, Quine. Okay. Now you better drop back, man. Sure, sure. said Barney got the witness. What do you want me for? Move. Look, I didn't tell him anything. I'm not going to open my mind to think I'm crazy. I told you, move. No, wait. No, no, wait a minute. Will you please? Turn and face the water. No. No, 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 please don't. Drop the gun. No, no, no. Come here, get him. Hurry up. Where are you? Okay, come on. Come on, get him, will you? Get him. Come on. Chill, chill, you dirty no good. Scuther, he was going to kill me. Yeah, I know. We tailed you, Haddock. That rat, Stefano, that dirty, stinking rat. Want to tell us about it? Yeah. Yeah, what do you want to know? (laughs) 
Who do you think you're kidding, copper? You can't haul me in like this. Oh, you're wrong, Stefano. You're going to be in for a long time. I'll be out of here in an hour. I hate to tell you, but your boy Haddock spilled his guts all over the precinct. I don't know no Haddock. He ain't no boy of mine. Sign a sworn statement, but you're going to get a life for sure. You're nuts. Maybe you'd like to see him. Sure, I'll see him. Ben, we got Stefano. Oh, bring him in. Go ahead. How do you like it, Stefano? Shut up, Haddock. I've done all my talking. Sure, I'll shut up, but they're going to put you away for a long time, Stefano. Why, you dirty... Try to get me knocked off, huh? Some send two-bit hood to... What are you talking about? I didn't send nobody. You're a filthy liar. Now you're going to get you. Shut up. How do you like it, huh? How do you like it? Ben? Oh, come on in, Asher. Hey. Hey, him. Hello, Haddock. Hey, what... Hey, what is this? You two haven't met, have you? Dennis Haddock, Sergeant Asher. So, Sergeant, but he's the guy. Stefano, I, I thought he was one of your boys. You stupid idiot, you've been had. I've been framed. This is a dirty, no good oh, thing. Why, you stupid. Get away, get him away from me. Hey, you. get up there now, break it up. Get him. Right, get over there, Haddock, and shut up. Keep him off of me. I'll fix that stupid little... Shut up, Stefano. Don't yell at me, Griff. Shut up and sit down. You don't tell me to do nothing, copper. You don't shove me around and tell me to do nothing. (laughs) That's... That's for two good cops, Stefano. A few minutes ago, we quoted a famous fighting man on the subject of the Army's need for men of high metal qualifications to absorb technical training. Here's something else the general said in that same interview. That is only a part of our need. There is another need in the Army, and one that is not generally understood, for men of high intelligence and ability to lead our combat units. Combat leaders are specialists, too, and require specialized training, just as do the technicians. That's worth thinking about for a moment. Old soldiers will tell you that it's good training plus the best leadership that pays off, that brings a man through the tough places and keeps him effective. Not every young American between the ages of 18 and 34 can qualify for the kind of specialized training the Army requires. But how about you? Can you qualify? Visit your nearest U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station tomorrow and take a look at your opportunities in your growing United States Army. The lineup, where before you pass the innocent, the vagrant, the thief, the murderer. Listen again next week when we again bring you The Lineup. May I have your attention, please? <laughs> you people out there on the other side of the wire in the audience room, may I have your attention, please? Thank you. My name is Greb, Sergeant Matt Greb. I'll explain the lineup to you. Each of the suspects you will see will be numbered. I'll call off a number, their name, and charge. If you have any questions or identifications, please remember the number assigned to the prisoner, as I call his name. At the end of each line, when I ask for questions or identifications, call out the number. The Lineup, starring Bill Johnstone as Lieutenant Ben Guthrie and Wally Mayer as Sergeant Matt Greb is written by Blake Edwards, with music by Eddie Dunstetter. Featured in tonight's cast were Ed Begley, Jay Novello, Lou Krugman, Bill Conrad, Sam Edwards, Stacey Harris, Gene Bates, Jeffrey Silvers, and High Averbeck. The lineup is produced and directed by Jaime Del Valle. Dan Coverly speaking. This is CBS, the Star's Address, the Columbia Broadcasting System.